Is the linear window considered for the objects which are moving close to the speed of light? Well, the answer is yes, and I've already made a video on this topic, so you can check out that video. But in this, I'll tell you the concept. So suppose there are two objects of rest masses same m0 and one is moving with the velocity u1 and this is moving with the velocity u2 and since the objects have the velocity near the speed of light so they will have an associated gamma also so let's name it as gamma1 and let's name it as gamma2 and after collision of course the rest mass is same so it will move like this suppose this has a velocity v1 and this is a velocity v2 and again they will have associated gamma so it will be equal to gamma1 and gamma2 suppose dash okay so pi is equal to pf so over here we have to apply relativistic relativistic linear moment of conservation so it will be m u1 plus m u2 is equal to m v1 m v2 so m0 is equal to m0 gamma 1 dash v1 plus m0 gamma 2 dash v2 right so from this we can say gamma 1 u1 plus gamma 2 u2 is equal to gamma 1 dash v1 plus gamma 2 dash v2 where of course you know gamma is equal to root uh, 1 minus v square by c square right so i hope that uh, this video was helpful so if you enjoyed this video then please do like share subscribe my channel and to support you do bye bye take care